Hey new types, my name is Spencer, and today we're going to talk about the shit center of the internet, Kotaku. They recently reported on the rumored PlayStation 4.5, overheard at GDC a Kotaku reporter stuck his nose where he shouldn't, and supposedly leaked information about a 4K gaming machine upgraded titled PlayStation 4.5. Now, don't get me wrong, I didn't read the Kotaku article. I saw most of my information from the other shitstorm on the internet, NeoGAF. The rumored PlayStation 4.5 is supposedly being developed in order to keep up with the PlayStation VR capabilities. Outputting at a 4K resolution, the PlayStation 4.5 could be an awesome feature for game developers to utilize. Now, don't get me wrong, this would be completely awesome if any game right now actually supported 4K. With the price entry of 4K TVs still too high and barely any media content available, the 4K PS4 might spell disaster for Sony, seeing as they recounted significant loss with the PlayStation 3 at release, being the Blu-ray innovator at the time where the market did not really have any access to Blu-ray technology. However, with the PlayStation 4 booming in profit margins and excelling in the console game market in North America, this might actually be a decent move. However, this PlayStation 4.5 is merely a rumor and we have to dispel a few things before we can actually take this credible. First of all, this is fucking Kotaku reporting. The same media organization blacklisted by Bethesda and Ubisoft and falls under Gawker Media who got destroyed by Hulk Hogan recently. For those who don't know, Hulk Hogan won a privacy lawsuit against Gawker for a sex tape and received $115 million. Not to dissuade anyone who believes in Kotaku's reporting. But Gawker is one of the most, if not most, sleazy and unethical reporters out there, and anything they say should fall under the same level of care as The Onion. I think that's enough hate for Gawker today. The second thing we should address is if the PS4.5 were actually to come to shelves, why would you buy it? The only thing you're paying for is 4K resolution. No other added features, free PlayStation Plus multiplayer, or true backwards compatibility. Shame, Sony. Shame. On top of that, most game developers are really only outputting at 1080 resolution. I really don't see 4K being the next thing in gaming just yet. I mean, I only know one person, maybe in my life, who owns a 4K television, and they don't even have enough Blu-rays in order to output that. But that's all for today, let me know what I should cover next, if anything, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.